Hey, I'm Greg, and I'm going to be demoing the PayPal button for you. The core PayPal use cases are basically adding a PayPal button to a website or a mobile device. Those two use cases, along with the Braintree Vault, will allow us to tie that consumer into using the button. The button can be used over Wi-Fi, over 3G, and using the Sigfox network. The button turns green when successful, and red when there's a failure. Like we mentioned earlier, really all that needs to happen is the customer needs to buy something from the merchant's website using Braintree. Here, this demo, we'll buy a camera and some spices. We can either check out with a credit card or with PayPal. And either way, we'll still be in the Braintree vault. Once the purchase is made on my website, as a merchant, I'm just gonna take the button, I'm gonna register it using the code on the back, and I'm gonna ship it to my consumer. As a consumer, I'm gonna use my button, and then I'll receive an email that tells me that I reordered my previous order. Reorder is the default configuration, but there's two more, fixed price and selection. This is what it looks like for a fixed price order. For the selection use case, this time when you push the button, you'll be presented with a list of possible items where you can select your previous order to repurchase something that you previously bought, in this case, camera and spices, or maybe just a single item from the merchant's inventory, for this case, spices. Now that we talked through the demo, let's go through some target verticals that we might be able to tackle. These might include groceries, baby, water, beer, food delivery, and even transportation. But as far as B2B goes, office supplies and medical equipment, along with coffee and other office products,